Hey what's going on guys, today we're going to be doing this cool character face animation in Blender. It's really easy to do so let's get started. Alright so the first thing we're going to do is make the portal that the head is floating in. So to do that we're going to start by deleting the camera and the light. Then we're going to take the default cube, hit S, Y and then 8 and then enter. Then we're going to hit Control A and then apply the scale. Then we're going to go into the edit mode by hitting tab, hit the face select mode, and then delete both faces. Now we're going to add some loop cuts, so hit the loop cut button, and then we're going to add about 15. Cool, now we're going to go to the modifiers and add the wireframe modifier. And then we can adjust the thickness to whatever you like. Cool. Now we're going to go to the shader tab and we're going to change the surface to emission. And we're going to make the strength 2. And to see everything you can go into the render tab and make sure you have ambient occlusion and bloom and motion blur turned on. Go to the world settings and make the color dark. Then you can change the color of the emission. Awesome. Now just rename the cube to cube portal and then you can hide it. Now we're going to add the character. I downloaded my character from Mixamo.com. You can download any character and any animation there. It's all free. But if you want the character that I'm using, I use this character here. And for the animation, I just typed in idle and use that. Then you can just download it for free. Now go to file, import, and then FBX and then find your character. Now we're going to go to the front view. And we just need the head so we can delete the rest of the body. To do that, just hit, just click your character. Go to wireframe mode by hitting Z and then wireframe. Then go into edit mode, select the vertex mode, and then hit B, and then select the rest of the body. Then hit X and then delete vertex. Now we're going to move it to the middle. So select the armature, then hit G and Z on your keyboard, and then hold control, and then you can bring it down to the middle. Cool. Now you can unhide your cube portal. Now click your head, right click, and then set origin to geometry. Then hit S and then scale your head up. Then hit Control A and then apply scale. Now we're going to add our camera. So Shift A, add camera. Then go into the camera view. And go to the Y location and then move it back. You can copy the transform settings I'm using. So the camera is facing the character. Now select your camera and head, then hit G and Y, and then hold control and then move it to the left. Now to do the animation on the face. So open a separate window, and go into the shader editor. Hit N, and then click the face, go to the shader tab, click minus, and then new, and then delete the principal BSDF, and then shift A, and then type in a mission and add that in. Make the strength 2.5. Shift A and add a color ramp. Change it to constant and then change the color on both ends to whatever you like. I'm gonna make it sort of a diamond color. So light blue and then dark blue.
Shift A, type in Voronoi texture, and then connect the color to the factor. Now if you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you can just hit Ctrl T on the Voronoi texture, and then you'll automatically get a mapping and texture coordinate. Plug in the normal to the vector, and then you get this look here. And now you can mess around with it if you like. I'm going to mess with the scale and the color ramp. Now to animate the movement of the Voronoi texture, go onto the mapping node, go to the rotation settings, go to frame zero, right click and insert keyframe. Then shift right arrow to go to the last frame, change the Z rotation to 360. Then right click, insert keyframe. And then you have this animation here. Now we just need to duplicate this cube portal. So click the cube portal, hit M and make a new collection. I'm going to call it Cube Portal Collection. Click OK, and then Shift A, and then add Cube Portal Collection. Enable the snapping tool, and then just drag in your Cube Portal. And you want to keep duplicating it by hitting Shift D. Now we just need to parent the head to the camera so the so the head follows the camera when the camera moves. So to do that just select the head and then the camera and then hit control P and object and then just bring the head back down by hitting G and Z and then G and Y to bring it closer to the camera. To rescale it just hit S and then scale it down and make sure you hit Control A to apply scale. Go to view and then select right camera view. Now make sure your camera is selected. Go to the transform settings. Make sure you're on frame zero. Then right click and insert keyframe. Then go to the last frame and then drag the Y location of your camera. Then right click and insert keyframe. And then there you go. Now if it's a bit too fast, you can just move the last keyframe a bit ahead to make it slower. Awesome. And we don't need that armature anymore, so you can just delete it. Cool. Now to render it out and export it, go to the render settings, find a place to save it. Now change the file format to FFmpeg video, change the encoding to MPEG4, and you can change the output quality if you want. Then just go to render and then render animation. And that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, please give this video a like and comment if you have any questions or concerns. And please hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like this. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.